So what is malaria? Malaria is an infection that is caused by plasmodium species. How do we get infected with malaria? These plasmodium species are transmitted by the female Anopheles mosquito. And wakati mtu anapo umwa na mbu, if you are malaria infected, the mosquito takes along with the blood that it sucks from you, it takes the infective form of malaria. When the mosquito will be feeding on another person who is healthy, then they deposit the, that infecting form into the healthy person. Uh, what we mean by this is that um, the, the, the mosquito carries the infection. So when it bites you, it deposits the infection in you. That is in layman's understanding. Now, when, when the, the, the parasite is deposited into you, it enters the bloodstream. When it gets to the bloodstream, it travels right away into the lungs. In, it travels right away into the liver. From the liver, it gets um, to multiply what we call a sexual reproduction. They multiply in number, they become so many, and they infect the liver cells. In about two, one to two weeks, the sporozoids, which is the infective form, they will now mature, and by this time, your liver cells will begin to die. At this phase, yes, you have the infective form of malaria within your bloodstream, but there are no visible symptoms in you. So we say that this is the asymptomatic phase. Uko na ile kirusi, lakini bado you do not have the signs of malaria. You do not have the symptoms. And um, after this time, the infective form now begins to invade your red blood cells. And from there, you begin now to show the malaria symptoms. This takes like two to three days and the mosquitoes will now multiply. The, some will develop into sexual forms which will now be fed on by the mosquito. And now we need to know what are the symptoms of malaria. How does malaria clinically present? How do you feel such that you begin to suspect that you have malaria? Well, this depends on the species that has infected you. Because we have several species of malaria. We have what we call Plasmodium ovale, we have Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium malariae, and uh, Plasmodium vivax. So what happens is that when the, mal when the parasite invades your red blood cells, you begin to produce symptoms. And in this case, uh, malaria presents in three stages whereby the patient begins to feel coldness, intense coldness. That is the first stage. Unaona kuna jua sana and then somebody says, I am really feeling very cold. Somebody is even shivering at that point. So this lasts for about 15 to 60 minutes. I know you've seen somebody seated under the hot sun and they are claiming that they are feeling very cold and they are shivering. That is the first stage of malaria presentation. And after that, it ushers us into the hot stage, whereby the person is feeling intensely hot. Intensely hot. And at this point, if we try to take up their temperatures, they, the temperature mounts up to 41 degrees centigrade. So it is really, really, really high. And um, after the hot stage, the person gets into a sweating stage whereby they begin to sweat profusely. They are drenched in sweat. And um, after, after a while, the temperatures begin to drop and this person may fall into a deep sleep. And um, this one has been termed as a comatose. Somebody sleeping very, very, very deeply. And after, after a while, they wake up and they feel that they are refreshed. But now, this attack will always come again. It is something that is repetitive. It is a recurrent attack. So after a while, at Anzate now, from stage one, coldness, heat, and then sweating. So at this point, you really need to visit the hospital because 
you will also be showing other symptoms things like vomiting nausea headache and in in some severe cases because we have the complicated malaria and the uncomplicated malaria in some severe cases we may have severe anemia because remember we said that mosquitoes feed on the red blood cells so we may have them feeding on the red blood cells up until you have no enough blood you have you are suffering from what we call severe anemia some people will also have confu confusion others will go into conversions because depending on the species of malaria that you are infected with now what do you do when you realize that you have these symptoms it is always advisable that you go to the hospital do not go to the pharmacy and begin to prescribe for yourself some drugs because nowadays you can always be tested for malaria the test is some tests are very rapid you get your results in a short while and you are put in the correct medication and treatment plan so i remember some time back when i was a young girl um we used to have our our mother's fillers eh? they touch us like this and if you have fever they would say hey who you are gonna malaria watch an impeleke hospital but i remember a time uh, someone was taken to the hospital and the mother was like this baby has malaria and the doctor asked ulimpi maaje ukajua kona malaria so it is always good that we have some form of a test let's be sure that this is malaria and once we are sure it is malaria let's get to know what parasite because again the treatment varies with the type of parasite that has infected you now how do we treat malaria and who is at risk of being infected with malaria everybody is at risk of being infected with malaria and this is inclusive of young children especially from 0 to 5 years and um, even the elderly people and our expectant mothers so it is always advisable that we treat this group with uh, a little bit utmost care so that we prevent them from having this parasite so the treatment for malaria it can be prophylactic whereby you get to treat you the, the you get to prevent yourself from infect being infected with the disease for example if you are visiting a malaria endemic zone we know malaria has been quite rampant in mombasa and in some parts of kisumu so if you are traveling to such like places you need to take prophylactic drugs such that you so that you don't get infected with malaria So what happens when you are infected with malaria? When you are infected with malaria and we 